welcome my friends to AC's Kitchen. Grab your apron and your oven mitten. We'll make dishes that are simple but good. You'll be cooking like you never thought you could. Hello and welcome to the second episode of AC's Kitchen. Today we're going to make two Mexican dishes which are very easy to make but a lot of people find them to be in intimidating. The first is guacamole. This is particularly easy because there's no cooking involved. And the second thing we're going to make is refried beans which obviously we will be cooking those but they're even easier than the guacamole. The ingredients required are two ripe Haas avocados, a half a cup of chopped tomato, a half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro, a quarter of a cup finely chopped onion, a half a clove of finely chopped fresh garlic, one lime, jalapenos, these were of course optional, and salt. I can't emphasize enough the importance of using fresh ingredients for guacamole. Since it is not cooked, the flavors of all the ingredients will come through. Alright, so the first thing is I'm going to throw everything except the avocados in the bowl here. Next we're going to add our cilantro. Our onions. And our garlic. Now this needs to be freshly chopped garlic. Can't use the stuff in the oil. Now this here, I'm going to add afterwards, this is a two-thirds of a serrano pepper with the seeds left in. This will make it pretty spicy. You can also use jalapenos. You could also take the seeds out or you can completely omit this. Okay, now our Haas avocados need to use Haas. Those big green ones, uh, whatever they're called, just, just aren't good. So you need to make sure these are ripe. They should have like a little bit of a give to them, but not be too soft. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this more or less in half, and there's a pit in the middle, and then I have to stop at the pit, and you just pull this apart. And then we're just gonna take the spoon and scoop this out. Pop it in. Now a lot of people leave the pits in the guacamole. Uh, it's rumored that the pit will prevent the guacamole from turning brown or oxidizing. I don't believe there's ever been a scientific study done on that, but it looks kind of cool to leave them in, so you can go ahead and do that. Okay, let me cut the second one now. Nice, even cut. If there's a few brown spots in here, that's okay. No one will notice. All right, now, I'm going to mix this up. You don't want to completely mash the guacamole and want some nice chunks of guacamole left in there. Alright, so now that our guacamole is reasonably mixed up, we're going to squeeze some uh, 
juice of about half a lime in here. Some people don't use the lime. It, uh, I think it gives it a nice flavor. It also prevents the avocado from oxidizing. And uh, some salt. And last but not least, at least for me, is our Serrano. Every last bit. You probably want to avoid uh, rubbing your eyes after you've touched these. All right, so this is our guacamole. What I should have actually done is taken these pits out and put them back in at the end. But you, of course, now want to um, make this look nice. And if my assistant would please hand me testing. By the way, you definitely need some corn chips with guacamole. All right, so. It's good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that guacamole. Now we're gonna make some refried beans. This is another dish, it's incredibly easy to make. We're going to use what are called Roman beans. You could also make these with uh, pinto beans or black beans, and they do have a different flavor. The Roman beans variety is a type you'll typically find in a Mexican restaurant. Uh, there's all different ways to make refried beans. I'm going to make them really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this pan warm up a little bit. A lot of people... I've heard say that refried beans have lard. Uh, that may be true for the pre-made ones, but kind that are typically eaten in Mexico have no lard in them. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna squirt a pretty decent amount of vegetable oil into the pan. And we're just gonna let that warm up for a few minutes. Okay, next, our beans. Okay, and I'm just going to leave these to cook for a few minutes, and then I'll warm them up and also soften them up a bit. So these are, as you can see, bubbling pretty good now. We're going to get our standard potato masher here making mashed potatoes and we're going to start working on these so at first they're going to be a little bit watery and this water is going to cook down so you don't really need to worry too much about stirring these, just kind of mash them the best you can. Wish you could smell these. Just have to use your, your imagination. Okay, these are Mashed up pretty well. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit to low and just let these cook for a few minutes. You, you don't need to use a spoon. You could use, use the, uh, the masher to stir them up. And this will take maybe another, another three minutes or so to cook down to the consistency you'd like. As you can see, they're already, they're already thickening up. Now the really nice thing about refried beans is you keep them warm in the oven for about a half hour. These things are great. You can leave them out for a couple of hours. They don't go bad. 
And these, these go great with eggs. So morning, if you're looking for something for breakfast, just refried beans and scrambled eggs. A little bit of Tabasco sauce, maybe a couple of tortillas. Right, I think we're just about done here for some. As they say, mixture thickens as it cools. Now, I find that these Roman beans have a little bit of a, a at least to me, a little bit of a, a tea flavor to them. That's T-E-A. The black beans are a little bit different. I, I enjoy both. So you definitely want to try this with different types of beans to see how it comes out. The red beans, the typical red beans, are probably going to give you something similar to the Cajun red beans and rice type mixture. I don't think I've ever tried that. Okay, so this is our refried beans. All right. Now it's time for a special surprise. The proper way, of course, to eat refried beans is with a tortilla, a corn tortilla, not a flour tortilla. These are, um, you have to get the right ones. I'm not going to mention any brands, but my wife being Mexican has a particular favorite. She's very picky about these. The proper way to heat tortillas is to use a non-stick griddle and just throw them on. No oil, just throw them on. These take a few minutes to heat up. The flour ones will heat up much quicker. So if you do prefer flour tortillas, you want to be careful that they don't burn. These are very difficult to burn. Uh, if you try and eat a cold corn tortilla, it's going to be very hard and not have a nice texture. Thank you. So maybe maybe two two minutes aside here. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop some of the refried beans into the tortilla. Get a little bit on the pan. going to wimp out and use my wooden spatula and I'm going to hand these to our official taste tester and I think that perhaps I'll take one for myself as well yum okay folks thanks for joining me on AC's Kitchen and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode <laughs>